In this video we will discuss how to add and delete charges from the payment screen. To access the payment screen you're going to click on operations and then payments. Choose your particular tenant. Once you're in the payment screen you're going to choose an option that says edit charges and payments. For this particular case this person has more than one unit so we're in all units mode. That option is not available. What you need to do is choose the respective unit from within this list. So I click on unit 13, for example. It doesn't matter which unit, but let's say 10. If I choose it here, now we see the option in the bottom right-hand corner to edit charges and payments. If the tenant only had one unit, you would see the button immediately. We click on edit charges and payments. Then we see our list of charges below. For example, if I'm going to add an administrative adjustment charge, I highlight administrative adjustment, put in the amount, in this example, $100 and then the date. Typically you'd put today as the charge date. I click add new charge. Do you want to add one entry, an administrative adjustment for $100? Yes. Now that charge is on the list. Click OK and then OK again to finalize. Are we sure we want to complete this transaction? Yes. Do you want to take another payment? In this case I'm going to choose yes because I'm also going to show you how to delete that charge. If I click yes We'll go back into that unit, unit number 10 in this case. Highlight unit number 10, click on edit charges and payments again. If I scroll down and find administrative adjustment, if you click on the word administrative adjustment, you then see delete the selected charge. Click delete the selected charge. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yes. You must enter in a reason. Put in the reason. Click OK. Click OK again and then OK on the main screen to finalize. One thing to note, if the day has been closed, you are then not able to delete a charge unless that charge is for a future period. If the charge has been closed and it is not for a future period, in that case you would credit off the charge to get rid of it.